Today we're looking at the PPC again. This time we want to see how we can see specialization. Spe specialization in economics means using a resource for the purpose that it's best suited. By doing so, what we're going to see is that we can make scarcity and the problems of scarcity less severe. We're going to mitigate the problem of scarcity. So we have to understand that different factors of production are better suited for different economic activities. So for example, if you're looking at a piece of land, it's really important to understand that where the piece of land is might drastically change how useful it is. Egypt, Egypt's land is probably no more useful than lots of other coasts around the world, but it's an important waterway connecting the Indian Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. Therefore, it's an important route of trade uh, between Europe and Asia. So where it is, is very vital to its strategic importance and the economic activities that can happen there. Other things as far as where could go into, well, are you in a place where the climate is good? Does it rain a lot? Is it dry? That, um, that might have some sort of determination about what you might be able to do in that country. Obviously, there's thousands of different things we can think about about land, but it's important to understand that where the land is can have a big effect on what it is useful for. Another thing to think about is what we call the resource endowment. An endowment is like a gift. It's something that you're given. You haven't really earned it. So a resource endowment, that term, refers to what are the things that just happen to be in a certain chunk of land. Here in South Africa, we have lots of very valuable minerals and have had those minerals um, you know, throughout the last 100 or 200 years of history, gold and now titanium. So that's not something that South Africa earned or did, it's just there happens to be gold there. So if that's true, obviously it's a valuable economic activity that a country can pursue. Are you near water? Do you have plenty of water to use for crops, plenty of water to use for transportation? Is your soil arable? Is your soil really rocky? Those sorts of things are going to affect what kind of choices a country or a, an economy can make. We'll see the same thing in labor. Um, all of these jobs here, they all are good at different things. A mechanic probably isn't going to be a good lawyer, but a lawyer is probably not going to be a good engineer, and an engineer maybe isn't going to be a good designer. So all those things are different, and they should be used for what their specific talents are best at. Another thing to think about might be something like language. If you're in a place like India, well, India, being English-speaking, has been a very um, popular place for people to relocate their businesses because the people already speak a language that is very common throughout the world. Other places maybe aren't so fortunate. Capital. When you look, most capital machinery, remember machinery is capital in economics, most of it is built for a specialized purpose. Screwdrivers, hammers, conveyor belts, planes, all of those are built with a specific purpose in mind. So, obviously, you ought to use it for what it's built for. One thing I learned a few years back, I did some construction. Not a good idea. But uh, what I found out is that different types of shovels, I was doing lots of digging, different types of shovels are built for different reasons. A shovel like this that comes to a point is better at digging through um, soil with lots of roots and things like that. It'll break through the roots and you can dig a hole better. A shovel like this, however, is much better at carrying, um, carrying dirt. So if you're trying to move one dirt pile to another place or something like that, you don't want to use this because this has much better surface area and can carry more dirt. So anyway, using the right tool for the right purpose is obviously important too. A lot of people think that entrepreneurship is focused on just one, uh, th that it's useful for everything that if you're a good entrepreneur, you can be a good entrepreneur anywhere. Well, I agree with that to a large extent, but I don't think it's always true. Um, I have these two guys I know, Dan and Dave, they run a skateboard shop and snowboard shop uh, called One Way Board Shop, if you ever want to go check it out. They're successful entrepreneurs, but one of the reasons that they're successful is they're a little bit crazy. They wouldn't mind me saying so. Um, because they're that way, they connect with that population, with that kind of uh, subculture of skateboarding and snowboarding and things like that. They connect with it very well, where maybe another entrepreneur wouldn't because, well, the people would see them as an outsider or something like that. 
So, just because you're a good entrepreneur in one sector, doesn't mean that you'll be a good entrepreneur in every sector. We can take this thinking to the production possibilities curve, and now instead of just looking at the total, instead of saying you can produce 1,500 or 700, we need to look at individuals within that and see how they're specialized for different purposes. So our two examples here, you can push something uh, up a meter or pull it a meter, and here's what the various people can do. You see that we've taken the total, 6, 8, and 100 meters, added them up, and that's the top part of our y-axis, 1,500 meters push, and then these add up to 700 meters pull. So, what we see here is that Chris is not the best at either of them. Kurt is better at Dave, or he's the best at both of them. So, who do we get to do what? Let's pretend in our example that we've got all three guys pushing something, and maybe we're going to decide we need to have something pulled as well. So our first point, if we add all those up, so if everybody, Dave, Kurt, and Chris, are all pushing, then none of them are pulling. Therefore, we have 1,500 and zero. So we would be starting right here on the PPC. So the question is, which one of those three guys should we get to start pulling first, if that's what we need to happen? What we're really asking is, if we choose Dave or Kurt or Chris, who do we lose the least amount from? If they're going to be pulling, they won't be pushing. So we know that if we choose to pull, we lose the opportunity to push, and we don't want to lose too much. Okay? Remember in the PPC that this straight line connecting the two points, that represents our theoretical idea of 100%, where we're producing at 100%, but we just have some trade-off between the two. What we're going to look for and see today is that we can actually go beyond 100%, by being, more, uh, by being more careful about how we specialize. So what we need to do to do this is we need to calculate the opportunity cost of one meter being pushed or one meter being pulled for each of these three guys. Okay? I've done two for you. Put the video on pause and see if you can do them yourself. Remember, when we get down to opportunity cost, we have to figure out what one costs in terms of each. Okay, to get to one third of a meter, what we did is we said, okay, what's the cost of one meter pushed for Dave? So we took 600 and divided it by 600 to get to one, and then we took 200 and divided it by the same, 600, and our result is one third. To figure out the other way, it's just going to be the reciprocal, but we can prove that as well. To get 200 down to one, we divide by 200, Therefore, we divide 600 by 200, and we get the reciprocal here, which is 3 meters. So every time Dave pushes 1 meter, he gives up the ability to pull 1 third meter. So this is 1 third of a meter pulled. Every time he pulls 1 meter, he gives up the ability to push 3 meters. For Kurt, every time he pulls 1 meter, he gives up the ability to push two meters, and every time he pushes one meter, he gives up the ability to pull one half a meter. Chris, because we can see they're the same, it's just going to be one and one. So now you've got to think about if you were in a store and you were shopping for any item, and the item was going to be the same whether you bought it in store A, B, or C, same exact product, well, you'd probably buy the one that was cheapest. So here, we're saying that the product is the same, but the cost, the opportunity cost, changes depending on which person is doing it. So, we have everyone pushing, so we have to figure out what is the cost of pulling. Okay? So, if Dave pulls, we lose three pushed meters. If Kurt pulls, we only lose two pushed meters. And if Chris pulls, we only lose one pushed meter. So this is the cheapest price right here because one is less than two and three. What we give up in terms of pushing is less here than that or that. So we're gonna first have Chris begin to pull instead of push. So if he's pulling instead of pushing, what we get is 100 meters pulled. So we're here. However, we lose what he could push, which is 100 meters. So it's gonna be 1,500 minus 100, 1,400 and then gain the 100 meters pulled. 
Okay, so our total here doesn't actually change, it's still 1500. So we're here, and then 1400 is there. Well, who comes next? If we're not getting enough here, well, the next person to, the next cheapest person to uh, pull, well, two is less than three, so Kurt is our next best person, our next best specialized person to move over to pulling. If we move him over to pulling, we gain 400 more, so we're 100 plus 400, so 500 being pulled, but we lose his 800, so we're down to 600, just what Dave is doing being pushed. So now we're down to 500 and 600, which is right about here. And you see that point, if we make a new PPC, that point and the rest of the PPC is gonna be drawn out with it, is beyond what we said was 100%. So what's happened is because we specialized, our production possibility picture has improved, it's better. Where we would have only been able to do 600 and call it, well, it would have been about 400, where we would have only been able to do that, now we're able to do 600 and 500, and that's a better outcome. And that happened because we specialized. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below.